Hey everybody, I'm going to be taking you through the first Nerf gun lot that I've purchased. So I've been getting into flipping more recently, uh, inspired by Gary Vaynerchuk, just hitting up garage sales, you know, seeing what I can find and, and seeing what I can sell online and, you know, found a few things that were undervalued, cleaned them up, uh, sold them and, and made a little profit. And at one garage sale, I found a Nerf gun for 15 bucks and I sold it for 44 and I was hooked. I was like, all right, let me go, let me go find some more of these things. And you know, what I noticed is that people sell big lots of Nerf guns. They just want them out of their house. They want someone to take them all. I've seen lots, 60 bucks and it's, it's like 40 guns. So I found a lot, it was on Craigslist. It was listed for 80. The same gun I sold for 44, I saw in this lot. I saw that it had a particular piece that made it more valuable. So I was like, all right, I gotta go check this out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the lot. I'm, I'm gonna talk about you know, things to look for, like little details, pricing strategies, packaging strategies, things like that. And I, I mean, I'm testing too. So you'll get to kind of test with me and, and see how things work if, if we do auction or if we do buy it now. Um, I have everything listed right now. I, you know, and I'll, I'll have other videos to update you on, on how those things sell, what I've learned and, and, you know, how you can apply some of these, these things too. So let's go take a look at the lot. All right. Boom. I mean, so, so there's a, t I mean... So again, this was 80 bucks. Um, I offered 65, and I'll show you a little spreadsheet that I actually created to, to sort of evaluate each of these guns. But I don't, I mean, two weeks ago, I knew literally nothing about Nerf guns. And so what I would do is just look at the pictures and Google, you know, big red mega Nerf gun and see what it's selling for on eBay. And then looking at the details. But this is the gun right here. This is the Rhino Fire Elite. It comes with a stand. That's key, but this is the one that I sold. I sold the blue one for 44, but with the stand, it actually, I think, is gonna sell for a little bit more. It comes with a drum cartridge. It's missing a drum cartridge, so I'm probably gonna have to buy that because it's just gonna devalue this uh, if someone has to go buy another piece. So that's something to consider, is making sure that the guns have all the pieces. But I bought this lot and I kind of separated them out. Um, so you can see we have another Mega here. This isn't battery operated. I'm actually gonna sell, what do we got? Mega Big Shock. So I'm going to sell these three together. I actually even have a box ready for them. Um, so I've been collecting boxes. If you have friends who are moving, your work, you go to Walmart, just get boxes, break them down, keep them, store them. Um, but I'm looking, you know, we'll see. I think this was probably 15 20 maybe even $25. Just right there. Again, I paid 65 We look at this one over here. Again, another big one. Nerf. Uh, Vortex Nitron, it's got the scope. I put new batteries in the scope. I just, you know, I keep batteries on hand, you know, to test the guns because we want to make sure in this one. Um... Oh, wait, is it not working? Nope, there we go, right? So you just, you want to make sure to test on this little thing because um, that's really important. You don't want to have to deal with returns. Same thing for this. I had a scare earlier. I thought that it wasn't working, but it is. So you look at that Vortex Nitron. Um... You know that I mean, maybe like like twenty bucks, um, and then we we move over here. We've got this mega gun. So you look at this lot. It's like sixty five bucks. You got one big gun, two big guns, three. Um, you can see here. This is the mega Mastodon. I mean, this thing is huge. Another battery powered one. Um, I actually have darts that come with it, and that's something that, that I would note to people too. Is you're looking at listings. You know, this thing could sell like up to like $45, but there's a strap that comes with it. And I mean, I was looking at the pictures. I saw the strap, but I just forgot. And when you're looking at a ton of different Nerf guns, sometimes you forget the details, but this one I'm still hoping to probably get 34. But, you know, look at details. If the gun sells for more, does it include darts? Is that the difference? Is it the strap? Whatever that is. So again, so we got the three big guns. We got that lot. So it's probably like 20. I'm hoping 15 or 20. We'll see. We'll find out. We've got this Rhino, you know, that sold a previous one, 44, but it act, this one includes a stand. We got the Mega. Um, I've listed all of these on both Mercari and eBay. I'm doing auctions on eBay. We're going to do some buy it now because we're, we're going to test and I'm going to let you know what I find. Do I think, you know, I found so far in certain sales that, that auctions, I think, perform better. Um, you know, because people, I think, psychologically, that there's a difference there. They think they're getting a better deal versus the buy it now. And then with every lot, you're going to find like little Nerf guns like this. You have the Triad. I think this thing 
you know, this is pretty nice, right? It sells, I think, for like six bucks individually. But I noticed that packaging guns together, they tend to go for more. So I might be able to get like 20. We've got the guns and, you know, because there's, um, you know, a barrier for customers sometimes is going to be the shipping cost. And so if you package these things up together, like that's probably, you know, maybe get like 25 for that. We've got this zombie. This is a bow gun. So I didn't really know that. So you've got, you know, I'm missing the bow, missing the pieces again. Like, you know, you'll get better. Like as you, boom. You know, as you learn, as you start looking for guns, like if I see something like this again, like I'll know it comes with a bow, but I don't know, seven bucks maybe for that one. Easy to ship. Come over here, it doesn't stop. We've got two of these. Demolisher two-in-one. Um, pump action. It actually comes with these foam darts, which if you look on their own, I mean, these sell for like 15 for three of them because people need the accessories, right? So that's nice that like you always want to look to see if you get the darts. We got some extra clips for the guns. Um, and then we have some accessories in here, right? So we got some scopes. Like I think these sell for like five, some stocks. So I put it all together just to see maybe we can just get like 15. You know, if I sold them individually, it's a lot more work. But let's see packaging them together. I'll let you know. We'll see if that works. Um, you know, these, I think I've got them up for like 40. You know, we'll see. I got that on my card for 40. I've got them you know, auction style on eBay. And then finally, we have Nerf Retaliator Elite. It comes with this stock again. This stock alone, I think, is like 15. The front is missing the barrel. I didn't even realize it, but again, you know, it's tough. We have an extended clip. We have a clip in here for this Recon MK2. I'm selling these two together. I don't know if that's the right thing to do because I think that's, you know, obviously they're different, so I don't know if people are going to care. But, hey, it's a Nerf lot. We'll see maybe like 15 bucks. Um, so, again, I'm going to post, subscribe. I'm going to post more videos about different things that I'm picking up. I will let you know, you know, when things sell, when we get bids, how they do. You know, if I do better with the buy it now, if I do better with the auctions, you know. And, again, so 80 bucks. I paid 65 And I think a negotiation tactic like the Mega, like if I knew – and remember that it, that it needed the strap and say, hey, you know, I know this comes with a strap. Um, you don't have the strap. Like, would you take, you know, 60 instead of the 65? And most people, you know, would you take this? Would you take that? And don't be afraid to ask. I probably could have gotten this for less. But again, just looking like we've got the Mega Lot. We've got this big battery-powered gun. We've got the Elite Lot, the Mega, you know, the rat, the Rhino Fire. That's probably going to be the gun that that's the money maker for me but i am gonna have to get this drum so i probably should have said hey you're missing a drum could you take five off the price because i think these are about twelve dollars um we came with darts i mean that's a nice added benefit we have a retractable stand here um that's an accessory like this i mean maybe this thing sells for like five we'll see maybe i need to bundle it together with the other accessories um and then yeah and then you got these two these double blasters so again that's a set that's the same gun listing it for auction. So, I mean, the goal here is to profit $100. Um, you know, now it took, you know, coming home and, and separating all these out, you know, figuring out what belongs to, you know, different guns and things like that and categorizing and Googling. And, you know, I looked at the picture and I would just Google, you know, green Nerf gun. And I figured out quickly, oh, it's a zombie gun. And I can look at comps and kind of see the sold items and what it's sold for and, and try to remember as many details as possible. Um, so I'm gonna actually walk you through a little spreadsheet that I created and I'll, I'll have some closing notes um, and thoughts about this, but definitely stay tuned um, because I'm gonna be posting more videos. We're gonna see how these guns do. We're gonna see, you know, can we be proud? All right, so I think with flipping, there's a lot of different things that you can learn. And then again, Gary Vaynerchuk, he, he's a big proponent of it. It's just fun. Like I have fun doing this, but you know, you're looking at, right now a spreadsheet and I was able to kind of identify the different guns from the picture and then I would kind of look at the low and the high and the average sales I actually went through as if I were listing items and just looked at average sales for things you know like this cyclone shock blaster that wasn't actually the right gun um, but that's okay because the one I actually got is worth more so I have them you know list prices and, and all that stuff but I came up with you know, what was I going to spend for each of these guns and kind of list it out. My maximum is 65. That's what I hit. My goal is 42. 
Um, you know, but again, that's okay. So you learn negotiation by doing this, and it's small stakes. If you struggle with that, it's real easy. Just go and say, hey, would you take even a dollar less, and you'll feel accomplished, and then you'll start to get more bold in, in what you're asking for. And then you learn pricing strategy. You learn marketing. You learn you know, how to present an item and, and to take photos, and eventually you get good at this. Like I said, two weeks ago, I didn't know a single Nerf gun. And now, you know, I can identify some of these and know, ooh, that, you know, that's a good one. So yeah, so spreadsheet, you don't need to go into this much detail, but I just wanted to track this. Again, there's a lot of random numbers on there, but I'm gonna show you, again, we'll have follow-up videos, we'll see. Kind of exciting, like am I actually gonna make something or not on these? All right, so just some closing notes here. I mean, some people, yeah, no one's ever said this to me, but you might be thinking, wow, if I'm going and buying Nerf guns or going to garage sales and flipping it, you know, aren't I kind of ripping people off? Um, I, def I don't think that that's true. In the case of this Nerf lot, they just wanted to get rid of them. They take up space. You got to clean them. You got to test them. That's what I spent an hour putting batteries in and making sure that the guns actually fire. Um, and then you have to list them. And then you have to, you know, figure out the right pricing strategy, figure figure out, you know, Mercari, I find that you start high and discount, and we'll see if that works. eBay, I'm really thinking the auctions work better, but we'll do some experimentation. I'll let you know how those go. Again, I think this is fun. You can learn a lot. You can make a little extra money. You know, the value, again, like you're paying a certain amount for them in raw form. You clean them up, organize them, list them. Like, that's where you, you make your money. If you can sell them for more more than you bought them for, and then, and then the shipping piece, like, Shipping Nerf guns, like, people don't want to deal with that. You know, if you want to try, like, like when I bought this lot, I do not think that they wanted to try to sell these guns and find boxes and and deal with all that. Like, I'm lucky enough, like, I was able to get some boxes from work that fit a lot of these guns. I've sold a Rhino Blaster, so I know the exact box. I know the exact weight. And and real quick, like, you, like you learn and you'll get better and more efficient. So, again, subscribe. I'll be posting other videos of things that I acquire because it's fun, they're treasures, and then I'll be doing update videos. So as we sell, hopefully sell items, I'll let you know what they sell for, what did I learn, you know, anything like that. Um, and we'll, we'll keep going from there.